Hello everyone. Most of the coders use NetBeans IDE, IntelliJ IDEA, or Eclipse IDE for their Java application development in JavaFX. But here, this video will tell you how to set up the environment for the same in Microsoft VS Code Editor. So let's jump into it. The timeline for the whole video, divided into subparts, are noted in the below description. You can check them out and save your time if initial installations are known to you. Here, the first step is to install the Java JDK from the below website displayed on the screen. There are two ways to go to the below particular URL, and I am showing you one method of reaching out there. Both methods will be there in the description below the video. This is Java Downloads page from the official java.com website. From here, follow me as I am doing for the Java JDK installation, and select the desired SDK version, and keep an eye on the operating system that you are using. The JDK folder location should be kept in handy for the purpose of setting path in the environmental variables. Now it's time to install JavaFX. Go to the link as displayed here, which is there in description too, and select the desired SDK for installation. This downloads a zip file, and we have to extract files from it and save it in a folder of your choice. But remember, you have to keep location of the extracted file folder handy as it is used while compiling the code. I am showing the setups that have been installed in my computer. There is VS Code Setup 2 installed in my system, and I will show how to install it in the later part of the video. This is where I have extracted the fx zip file and renamed it for ease of remembering. You can see that the jar files are present in the form of zip files as we see commonly. These are to be imported in the VS Code while setting the environment for GUI development. This is where JDK files are there and you can see the bin files here. This location is needed for setting environmental variable. Setting the path for Java is important as we can develop Java files and run on any drive in our system. So make sure that the bin directory of Java JDK is set into the path of either user variables or system variables. I have named the variable as Java underscore home and set that to bin folder in the path collection in system variables. The VS Code editor is already installed in my machine. This is a powerful text editor because it has a lot of extensions present in its market. You can use the displayed link to install the setup. This is easy of all three above. Open VS Code from the desired folder. I have used folder named MY which is on my desktop so that the project files are all put into this single folder. For this to enable, check the checkboxes which state add open with code action to Windows Explorer file context menu and add open with code action to Windows Explorer directory context menu while installing in your system. After opening, we have to install the extensions required for the purpose of GUI application development using JavaFX. Type Java in the search bar in the extensions tab and select Java extension pack which is developed by Microsoft. This is extension pack, that is, a collection of extensions. It has, language support for Java, TM, by Red Hat, project manager for Java by Microsoft, Visual Studio IntelliCode by Microsoft, debugger for Java by Microsoft, Maven for Java by Microsoft, Java test runner by Microsoft. You can install the whole extension pack, or the first three extensions separately, as these are only required for this particular type of GUI development. I have installed them. Now open the command palette and type create. It will show Java, create Java project. Select that and it will ask for us to choose one among the five given as shown. Select no build tools and continue as I am doing. It will ask for the location of the project which we are about to make. Make a new folder in the MY and select it for the current project. You can create as many projects as you want in the MY folder similar way to skip all these steps above for initial environment setup. 
I have given Appa's name to it. Give a name for the project. It will reload, or will automatically open another VS Code window. You can close the previous window. Now you can see your directory in which you are working, and a newly created tab named Java Projects in the Explorer tab on the left. There will be a readme file automatically created and settings.json file for some other purposes. NPM scripts are also shown, but we don't touch them right in this video, as I am too exploring about them. A Java file named app.java will be created with the setup, and has the hello world code in it. This hello world program is present in the source directory. This is set up for JDK in the VS code. You can see all files of JDK present here, and ready to support VS code for development. To import Java FX jar files, click on the plus symbol present on the referenced libraries tab, and it will ask us what to import. Go to the Java FX lib folder where you can see all jar files for development. Select all of them and continue. All files are imported now. Now you can start your development of GUI applications in Java FX using VS Code. After importing the jar files in the referenced libraries tab, you can see a new settings.json file created under the application folder MY, with some notations of the jar file locations in it. This tells us that we are in right path of setup. I am testing the IntelliSense working here. As you can see that it is perfectly fine. So our extensions are working perfectly fine. You can also check by making use of any keywords used in Java FX while creating scenes, stages, buttons, text fields, etc. I am going to Java FX reference web page, link is in the description. This web page by Java FX contains all the procedure for the setting up in all the IDEs that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Here we can see the simple Java FX code for testing purpose and learning. This is a simple code which tells us about the scenes, stages, labels. Copy the code and paste it in the editor in the file app.java, which was created while setting up. Now compile and run the code using the displayed instructions on the screen. Open any terminal of your choice. I am using command prompt in the VS code and change the directory in which it is operating to the directory where our app.java is present. So I have changed the running directory by running the command cd space src as app.java is present in src of my folder. After successful compilation, run it using the displayed command on the screen in the terminal. These commands are available in the reference web page that I have shown earlier or given in the description below. That's it. You have got it. You can see that the setup is successful and code runs smoothly. You can check out my code too, in the GitHub link below in the description, and run it for sample test.